Oh, hello. What's up? Hold on one second. the game Me. yep it's not I see you got a bit to be able to click out this time and not have audio desync problems Let's see Wounded and tired Siri collapsed in the swamp some peasants found her and took her to the baron Bellin's self-appointed ruler the warlord took the young woman in, had her nursed back to health, then sent her on her way to Novigrad. It's working! It's working! Kind of. Oh yeah, we have to go to the cabaret. All right, we'll do that. Oh, what you want? Uh, white. Eh, uh, <laughs> we are um, grateful. That we wanted to demonstrate that, so we got this wee gift for you. Portrait of the hierarch. Nice. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. Got oodles of them. <laughs> Just, uh, if you wouldn't mind not mentioning where you got it. All right. All right. Farewell. Weird. Hemel fart. Check this out, though. Yeah. Jump for joy. Follow the road. Move it. Come on. Moves. They're always just far enough away, though. Shit. I was just following the road. Well, through the wolves. You can't get me, bear. What's the problem? 
Oh, nothing. On your way now, good man. Nice haircut. Shut it, got out. He could help. Little Red's band means to attack the village. Want revenge on Bertram. We haven't much, but we're willing to pay if you defend us. Who's Little Red? Word is she fornicates with wolves <laughs> and can tear a man apart with her bare mitts. A she beast in human husk. Though some call her a great beauty. She leads a pack of deserters, true dregs from different armies. The kind what knows killing and plundering well. Why does this band want revenge on you of all people? Because. Because I ratted on them to the witch hunters. Witch hunters care about bandits? Since when? Little Red's band. They was terrorizing our village. We had none to defend us. Finally, Bertram went by the hunters, asked them. So the hunters went after him. We had a spell of peace, but now Little Red's learnt of it all. Wants to kill Bertram. He's done for if you don't help. Um. Shit. Oh, no. I don't know what to do here. And fine. Fine. I'll handle the bandits. Go to your homes, bar the door. Beware of them, Witcher. They're the dangerous type, truly. Why don't you all just get off my back? Dusk. Bailiff's a harsh man. Best not cause any trouble at the end. Or is dusk considered like. They did, to defend them from monsters, and humans who can be monsters. And you believe me to be such? Are you? Find out for yourself if you dare, or give me Bertram. No one else will get hurt. What did Bertram do to you to warrant vengeance? <laughs> Mean they didn't mention this bit. Then listen. He came to me a half year back. Said he'd point out who's worth looting in return for a share of the takings. But sometime on, the bugger grew greedy. He wanted more. I refused. That's when he set the witch hunters on us. Lost half me men because of him. Now step aside, Witcher. This ain't your affair. We want Bertram, no one else. Give my word. All right, you can have him. I won't get in your way. Do what the you can. Anyways, right decision, Witcher. See, quick and painless. That's for you, for understanding. Let's go, gents. It's like a, you know that one uh, problem with the people on the track. There's three people on train tracks. And one person on the other train tracks. You gotta pull a lever to see who's how many people's gonna die. That was one for an entire band of bandits. And he was a dick anyway, so. <laughs> uh. Whoa there, Roach.
Hello. It's a house full of halflings. Whatever half a became a witcher. Welcome eh? to Honeyfill, traveller. Holofurnace Myersdorf at your service. Meet my sons, Bernie, Franklin, and Hugo. Bernie Sanders. Hmm. Any relation to Rico Myersdorf? Uh, uh, yes. My youngest son. Sadly, he fled the family business. Went to seek fortune in the big city. Why do you ask? Do you know him? <laughs> well, yeah, we've met. But that's not why I'm here. Came about the notice you posted. It's the Apiarian Phantom. It's ravaging my hives. Okay. As far as my reward's concerned. Money. Lots of money. Shit. There. Oh, as you wish. Fail to rid us of the Phantom and we'll go belly up anyway. I shall look upon your fee as an investment. So it's a deal? It is. It is. You do realize this apiarian phantom. Well, there is no such thing. It's a monster, gotta be. A wraith, maybe. Any of your workers see anything? I did. I was cleaning a hive when I heard a farmhand cry out. Screamed as though he'd been stung by a whole swarm all at once. I ran to him, but he was dead. Any stings on him? None. He looked like he had frostbite, blue lips, frost in his hair, and dead bees lay all around him. Farmhand who died. What did you do with the body? Wouldn't mind a look. Too late for that. We buried the poor fellow a few days back. Where the phantom appear? Can any of you show me? I'll go. Come with me. All right. This way. Ah. Follow me. Where do you get the idea it was an apiarian phantom? It's a beekeeping superstition. You mismanage the bees often, the phantom appears. He destroys the hives and kills the bees, so that no one can use these noble creatures for ignoble purpose. Sicked your bees on the competition, eh? No. Father recently signed a contract with the Redanians. So the phantom's from Nilfgaard. They run like they got sticks up their asses. This is the place. Here's where the phantom killed the farmhand. Maybe it left some tracks. Covered in frost. Cold must have killed the bees. Blood. Dried and blackened, so several days old. Must be where the farmhand died. The Aperian Phantom's got large feet. Clues will lead me, and it's pretty damn heavy. Tracks disappear in the water. Doubt anything's hiding in this puddle they call a lake. Need to check the other side, see if the trail goes on. See a chest. Treasure. <laughs> it's a ladder.
Where'd the prince at, though? Show me a pond, and I'll show you the drowners. But they didn't destroy the home. What now? through here. Gotta find another way in. <laughs> Hello? It's locked. Hello? the key right here. The father began building this house for Bernie, but ran out to coin. It's been standing half finished since. Wonderful hiding place for whatever destroyed your hives. I'm going in. You go home and bar your door. Who knows what might come out of there. Basement. Uh. Frick. Open the basement. Oh. Can't hear him phantom my ass. It's a hound of the wild hunt. How the hell did it end up here? Roach will run you down. Dang it! <laughs> Hit him! Hey -ya. He's juking me! What the? Come here! I'm dumb. Is it okay? Uh, did I do this? Oh, never mind. Quiet. It no like fire. It's any old monster. herbs bullshit
Come on. Good job, lady. How did you fare? Did you drive off the phantom? What if a heart Your you? Hyperion phantom was a hound of the wild hunt. Eternal fire! Hounds run with the wild hunt as well. About two weeks back, I woke suddenly in the night, saw the hunt streaking across the sky. Hound must have gotten separated then. Couldn't go back, so it hid in the empty house. It's hardly compensation for your losses. But at least the Hound won't destroy any more hives. Thank you, Witcher. It's true. Nothing like hiring a specialist. Enough for today, boys. Let's go home. With a big day tomorrow, let's rebuild the hives the Hound destroyed. Work and more work. Never ending. Not so fast, Roach. Nothing like hiring a specialist. What happened, ma'am? As if the war weren't enough, sir. I'm losing me ends. I'm out to live, eh? Get a look at the thieves. What thieves? It's monsters taking me chickens. An ordinary thief, I'd nab on me own. But beasts, what am I to do? <laughs> I can help you. Not for free. But you're advanced in years, so I won't ask too much. Not much, he says, but you'll take me liver come the end. Well, no one else is lining up to help me. Me end started disappearing about a week past. Always take one at a time, the vermin. One at a time? Interesting. Monsters leave any tracks? Aye. Prince of wolf paws, but strange like. As if the wolves walked on their hind legs. And don't you be like that wise ass Yossip from Down Warren tells me I'm mistaken. But few know beast tracks like I do. Me man with the best poacher for miles around. I see. I'd still like to examine the prince myself. Who's taking them chickens? Wolf prints, all right. No, something's not right. Wolf prints, and small footprints next to them, but no signs of struggle. Little footprints, interesting. Always goes off into water. Watch out, PG! He's got a sword! A soldier! He won't take us alive! Not gonna hurt you. Then why are you here? That captain with the black mustache send you? Don't know any captain. Followed the tracks of the hen stealing monsters here. <laughs> You're a lot of fuss over a few skinny hens. The old lady didn't like them much anyway. She were always yelling at them. And she looks like a witch. Why are you in the woods? Where are your parents? Soldiers caught them. We was crossing the river, but they spotted us. We ran, but mum and dad had bags told us to flee lived in the woods alone ever since sure find a lot of things steal a few others we get by just fine where did the wolf prints come from darwin's hunted down a wolf gave each of us a paw for good luck we tied him to our shoes because wolves steal hens right sure usually not one at a time though you survive by stealing from others. This can't end well. You should ask someone for help. Who'd help us? Who'd take us? Once we've got all the hens, we'll go deep in the woods. 
Petey says we's gonna hunt where animal hides, so a tent out of leaves. I'd never grow up. <sighs> hmm. Last bit's most likely. Good luck, I guess. And watch out for yourselves. I think I know exactly what to do here. Parkour. Hey, Witcher. What is it? Parkour. Found a group of kids in the woods. They were the ones stealing your hens. Oh, children, eh? Riding on the backs of wolves, were they? Never any wolves here. The kids are just clever. If they've anything in their noggins, they'll stay away from me and house now. Take them in. Give them a home. Won't steal from you then. Sure, but I'll be feeding the whelps. I'll gain nothing from it. But suppose I'll give it some thought. Just think about it? Alright. Uh Cabaret, of course. Yet, but I'm close. I could probably still. I could do all of these pretty much, except for the 33 and 35. Cheat, dude. It's so far away. down the road here. Stagger, though? Stagger. Eat little kilns over there. Anyone there? You can come out. It's safe now. 
Okay. Ah, a witcher. What happened? No guardians came plundering, looking for valuables, as if we was rich. Who killed them? Couldn't have been you. Uh, I don't know. Must have been those beasts you slaughtered. Something stinks, and I don't mean the corpses. That's how it was. Quite well on it. You're hiding something. Gonna find out what it is. There's not here. Black ones didn't even find anything. Out of my way. Don't Wasn't eat. a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. What's in here, huh? Loot. A butter knife. I knew it. Ah, oh, shit. Thrown to the ground with great force. Internal hemorrhaging. Jaws strong enough to crush armor. Scent of blood still strong. Ought to follow it. There's nothing there. Tracks lead to this house. What happened here? What do you mean, what happened? You're all still in danger, and only I can help. I'm the only one who can rid you of this threat. What do I know? Listen, you. If you don't tell me everything you know, you could all die. Understand? Is that a burden you can live with? There's tunnels beneath the village. Tunnels? Elven ruins. We scavenge them for trinkets, small treasures. Sell them to Novigrad merchants. No one expected anything bad to come of it. We dug through some rubble. Found a chamber. A beast slept inside. We felled the prop so the ceiling had collapsed. Didn't bury the monster, though. What did the monster look like? were dark down below. Couldn't see. So how did it kill the North Guardians? I ran. Couldn't watch it happen. Give me the key to the door. You'd go in. No. Wanna pour wax through its head, tell you your fortune. Now give me the key. So, correct me if I'm wrong. You dug through to the monster's lair, then buried the entrance, but the Nuffgardians opened it again to look for treasure. Beast killed the Black Ones and returned to its lair. You wanted to bury the corpses, but their stench lured ghouls to the village. Now I'm here. Sound about right? Tis as you say. Yes. I'm going down there. If I'm gone long, run. Barring the door, nailing it shut resolves nothing. There are other ways out of the tunnels. Gotta be. How do you, uh, tell someone's fortune by pouring wax through someone's head? Go about doing that. Hmm. Planks can be lifted. Oh shit. <laughs> Armor pierced. Arteries torn open. An Ekimara. Hibernated here till the villagers woke it. Ekimara. I have for that.
Vampire oil. There we go. Black blood, right? Sir. Maybe this. Things gnarly. Go time, motherfucker. Shit, it's fast. Come on. Stuck? Can't move? It gets hurt when it hits me, too, so. It is. It did chunk me for a lot of health, though. I was hurting at the end. Superior Draconid Oil. That's nuts. It hangs things. Ooh. There was like just a wooden floor separating these guys from the tunnel. Literally break through and kill them all. Gods, he lives. Found an Akimara hibernating underground. It was old. Must have been asleep for centuries. An Akimara? Vampire. Won't trouble you again. Cut off its head. Drive a stake through its heart. Did what I had to. Don't go down into those tunnels anymore. Ekamara aren't known to be loners. We didn't hire you. Still, seems you deserve a... You bet I do. Pay up. Farewell. It's all about the hustle, man. All about the... It's not bad. Oh yeah, we have to report back, huh? Ah. 
like my death. In it's my true. Life. What brings you here? Saw your notice. Can anyone tell me about the monster? I can. The patrol has been lost. Somewhere along the south shore of Lake Windamer. We must know why. What makes this witcher's work? Some brickmakers live south of here. They call their village Byways. Almost empty now. Many have run away. They speak of a monster which kills. Redanians do not patrol there. That would be foolish. And robbers do not attack Imperials. That would be even more foolish. This leaves one option. A monster. Been to Byways. A vampire was terrorizing the village. This is why they did not return. Ekimari are tough, even for a group of soldiers. We will bury them with honors, as heroes. Your reward, well deserved. Thanks. Barbarians. Or money. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. I mean, it did give me a sword. Fun. Meh. Cool, though. Build a... Play... Blood... Id... You say it. Crystal. World. Damn, dude. <laughs> Instant kill. Wonder if that works on bosses and big monsters and stuff. Crippling strikes seems awesome though. Not gonna lie. It's all about the fast attacks, man. I can probably make a big one? I don't know about... I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I can. Yeah, I need... One more. Greater. Yeah. Then we're gonna be in business. Enhanced. Enhance. 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 Golden Oreo is pretty good. Might need that. Some blow balls. Yeah? 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 Let me see what you're offering. Yeah. It's lesser shit. Lesser garbage. 
He doesn't even have a lot of money. Oh, he can repair stuff. Let me see what you're offering. Uh, repair everything. Thank you. Bye. So long. Is it true, Northern? Wyverns. Those guys are still chilling out in that cave. Geralt, thanks for everything. Looking for a fight. Ugly bastard. I'm back, bitches. Need the right oil. Reckoned? I has? I don't. Me and you, you little bitch. Oh, I missed. <laughs> Damage. Kill it. Why'd that not hit? Those people gotta be a royal wyvern hiding around here somewhere. More really? will spawn. Need to destroy the nests. Royal wyvern, huh? Dragon the nest. Need to destroy it. Have the bomb. What? I have bomb. I have bomb right here. Destroy this. Are you kidding? Arr, re Ooh. Oh, 
Oh, what is up, big boy? You ready to fight, man? Let's go, bitch. Holy shit. He big. Get this other nest stuff in here, man. Ah, it's huge. What's the name again? Royal Wyvern. Don't usually come this big. It's feasted plenty, I reckon. Attacking those traveling the road. What do they call ye, Master? Geralt of Rivia. Geralt of Rivia. It'll be a tale to tell the young uns. Wait, he said that. It'll be a tale to tell the youngins. Could say that knife is the Witcher's greatest weapon. Wyvern Trophy gives you that as well. Still good. Hello, hello. That's a big chance to cause burning. Ken and Ard intensi intensity. <laughs> yeah. Then you have this. Like, come on, man. Super sign intensity. I can put burning and bleeding on him. Sure, why not? Let's check him out. What's he look like? Oh, it's always the first one, huh? Works for me, man. Works for me. It's good. It's kind of hard to look at. I found your friends. I have spoken to them. They're too damn bad Tom Hill didn't make it. Here, take this. Thanks. Farewell. Job well done. What the hell, man? What the hell? <laughs> I'm a fight. All 
All sky oh, ah, all signs? All signs point to Skellige, so... I don't know. Maybe one more. I, I could technically do these as well. Man. I already did this. Lord of the Wood. That sounds amazing. Let's check him out. That's a skull, though. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe 25 is too high. Cabaret! What's up, Dandelion? Let's see what you're doing. There's all the notice boards and stuff. If it's low level stuff, you out level this game a bit too fast, I think. I repeat. The last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chive? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chibe. Soon. What's this? Some flea-ridden mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. And don't show your hides run here ever again. <laughs> Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shite without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? Uh, puffed up fish bladders, Duke. Word does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men, and class. And the other? Errol. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back at Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. You see, Geralt, old pal... About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance. Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. <laughs> Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla, Vigo, Isengrim, and John Natalis. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arse white won't talk to me. 
Not after I bought a one of a kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed. Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I actually think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. But what else is going on around here, man? Is this truly what you want? To be perverted cheek whores and watered down one? Hey, I can't control pay. what I inherit. But you can control what you do with it. I know. I know, which is exactly why I'm considering. Black ones, Redanians. Oh, you're always considering. If it's not one thing, it's another. Let me know when you finally decide. I haven't the strength, Geralt. Perhaps you can talk to yourself into it. What was that about? She spat in my face. Or might as well have. Called me a whoremonger and a witless hack. Can you imagine? Wit is my forte. Gotta say, Priscilla's really growing on me. Save it. And why don't you save your pouting? Prove to her she's wrong. Exactly what I plan to do. I've always dreamed of having my own cabaret. A bit of paint and plaster, and this place will do splendidly. Just one hitch. I need coin. So, if you happen to get a break between drowners and jigs, maybe you can help an old friend out. Where do you get this cabaret idea? It's been a dream for years. Ever since we went to see one in Oxenford. Remember? The dancer hanging from the chandelier? And once she was completely downside up, she called you over and... I remember. How could you forget? And this place will be even better, I promise. That is, of course, if I can scrounge together the funds for some remodeling. Maybe the Vivaldis would give you a loan. I'd vouch for you. Funny you mention that. I went to see Vivaldi. You know what he said? Witchers are no good as guarantors. The risk of premature death is way too high. But I have another idea. I dated this girl once, Sophronia. That's a name if you can believe it. Has a merchant for a father, importer of spices from Zeracania. And Daddy Deer would never refuse his daughter Deer a thing. We can borrow the coin from her. Name rings a bell. Isn't this the woman you abandoned without saying a word? Stepped out for a bottle of wine, never to return? You know, I bought that wine for a reason. Long time ago, that. Been away a while, sure. Which is why I need... To draw on your authority. You've got some, you know. No matter what you might think. <laughs> Fine. Tell me what you want. Got a feeling you've a plan all cooked up. Sophronia could still be holding a grudge after our unfortunate parting. But with a touch of help from you, I know she'll forgive me. And then give me that loan. What's this help entail? First of all, we need to borrow a dull sword from Madame Arena, one of her props. You know, the kind they use during performances? Get that, then meet me outside Sophronia's house. Let's say I agree and go see Madame Arena. What will you be doing in the meantime? Something I have to finish. But I promise I'll do it before you come back with the sword. Then I'll tell you the rest. Okay. Fine, but... Carol, the only butts in this plan will be the ones filling my seats. It'll work, you'll see. Get the sword from Madame Arena and meet me outside Sophronia's at sunset. All right. <sighs> What's he schemed up this time? Suspicious to me. Oh. Trouble. 
Hey! As they say, a bard must be a good Yeah, just run into everybody. Adam Rina? Yeah. What's up? Get it. Pick up your milk and take it. Just put it in my pocket, you know? Ah, so good to see you. Got a request. Need to borrow one of your props. One of the swords you use for stage battles. My. Whatever do you need that for? I don't know, but Dandelion claims it's essential. Oh, yes. I suspected Master Dandelion might have a hand in this. I certainly hope you don't aim to compete with me. Well. Thanks. I'll try not to damage it. So long. I'll compete with whoever I want. It's a free market. But you won't find it. Whoa! Double chase. I got a piece like a racehorse. <laughs> made it. Listen, here's the plan. Sophronia loves adventure-filled romance novels. I can be a hero in her eyes if I can just save her from a bandit. I'll have her eating out of my hand, and there's no way she'll begrudge me that loan. Want me to be the bandit? Knew you'd see the sense in it right away. Are you serious? That's your brilliant plan? I never called it brilliant, but any kind of plan is better than none. Written your lines <laughs> already. <laughs> You've written what? So you know what to say during the performance. <laughs> Here, Andromask, put it on. Sophronia can't recognize you. But... No time. Sophronia's coming. Stick to the plan. We'll meet at the Rosemary in the morning. Stop right there. What is this? Help! Save me! <laughs> Tremble, flaxen haired wench. Um, bow before the Prince of Thieves. Not so fast. Drop your sword, scoundrel. This is your first and last warning. Dandelion! Tis I, though the scum of the city call me the Crimson Avenger. No, <laughs> not the Crimson Avenger. Silence, vermin. You shall regret the day you were born. Dandelion. I mean, Crimson Avenger. Uh, ow. Uh, you're better off. Uh, ow. I've been hit. Ow. To the house, quickly. He shan't get us there. Eternal fire, what do you want from us? Leave us be. This rogue will soon run off. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't chance getting caught by the guards. Would he? Uh. Run away! So dumb. F in a bit. No loitering round here. What village are you from? Will I? It's into the area, two guys running for the scene, huh? Yeah, no. Oh, fuck. Don't write him out. Morning.
There's been a misunderstanding. You're here too early. We agreed to meet today. So we've come today. Supplies are all hauled in and the crew's raring to work. We'll start just as soon as our lovely directress gets round to deciding on the decoration. But Dandelion doesn't even have the coin to pay you. Turns out he does now, or soon will. At any rate, he's working on it. See? It's all peachy. So will you finally decide what style you want for this interior? Hmm. What are our choices? Master Dandelion said he was torn between boudoir style and theater decor. Promised to let us know his choice as soon as we arrived. Now we are here, but no decision's been made. And the lady's horribly surprised she's to choose. <laughs> Though apparently this whole renovation's for her sake. For me? Well, it's not for me. Now would you please decide where I bust a vessel? I've no idea what Dandelion would like. Geralt, you've known him longer. Say something. Boudoir! Boudoir. Boudoir seems like a better fit for cabaret. Just don't go overboard on stuffed upholstery. A wonderful choice it is. At last. Gentlemen, you're done lollygagging. Get to work. Boudoir. Well, well. Guess this cabaret is the real thing. Ever since Dandelion inherited this place, he's talked about it constantly. I just never expected him to take action and so quickly who knows might even settle down now he'll have to keep an eye on the business who would have known despite what people say about him dandelion approaches life very rationally we talking about the same dandelion man who loses a fortune worth half of novigrad in one night dandelion can also be responsible he always pays anyone who works for him on time and he's never missed a performance. Sure hope your opening won't be the first. He's still not here. Well, he said as soon as he got the coin, he'd go see Polly, our choreographer. She's missed the last few rehearsals. I certainly hope he's not gotten into trouble. Anything's possible with Dandelion. Let me see if I can't find him. <laughs> Off we go, once again, to find Dandelion. Boudoir. Eternal fire, keep me safe. Telling you for the last time, go away. Uh -huh. Move on. We two children now. Wash your hair lately. I washed it in the boudoir. Everything all right, does it, son? Open up. Just sit on count to the wrong place. Hello? What's the ruckus about? Polly and her half-brained fiancé. They're fighting. She's the only one in this town who knows anything about choreography, and that lummox won't let her work for me. Ho ho hold on. What are you doing here? We were going to meet at the Rosemary. We were, but you didn't show. Priscilla started to worry, so I came to see how you were doing. Priscilla started worrying about me? That's so nice. <laughs> Less for her than for you, I'm sure. So let's get back. Did you not hear what's going on in there? We've got to help Polly. Why do beautiful women always end up with such dicks? No idea. Stand back. I'll break the door down. Wait. Do we have to destroy her house? She keeps a spare key around here somewhere. How would you know she keeps a spare key around here? It's not as if we started working together yesterday. Before Polly joined forces with Hubio... You'd visit her? Often? I'd hide out here while Priscilla and Polly rehearsed at the Rosemary and Tide. They worked on the dance numbers I, I composed. So, Polly's not one of your... I never mix business and pleasure. The one exception being Priscilla who you were just saying is worried about us. So enough of the chatter, and start looking. 
Fine. Let's find the key. Man, it's like right here. So. Damn it. Now where? Not is here. Or the rock, maybe. Not here. What? The bookie. Ah, the key. Hello. Whoa! What the devil's this? Get out of my house! Watch it and leave the woman alone. What the? She's my betrothed. But I'm not your property. I love her. I'll not let her sway her ass in his brothel. Whoa, slow down there a minute. This is clearly one gigantic misunderstanding. One I can clear up in the blink of an eye. Shove your excuses up your ass. Shut up, or I'll split your skull. Ask nicely, but you just wouldn't listen. And I'm not the kind to give second chances. Stay out of this freak. Before this ends with you getting your head smashed in. Gentlemen, please. <laughs> there it is. One word too many. I'm gonna beat you up. Oh, how long are you gonna make me wait? That's it. Ouch. Sorry, dear. Geralt can get carried away at times and... You know, maybe it's for the best. I felt no pity, no remorse as I watched you brawl. Can't help but think it means I've no actual feelings for Hubio. You're not mad? No. Grateful. I believe I needed a shock not unlike that one to understand that what I had with Hubio... Well, it wasn't working. I'm ready to try something new. I'd gladly start by choreographing your review. Excellent. Then I'll see you at the Rosemary in time. Damn. <laughs> Guess not all women go for arrogant pricks after all. One swallow does not a summer make. So, time to head back? I've still got to stop by Rotlex. Commissioned some new placards from him a while ago, but Hubio came across the old version. Plowing artists got some serious explaining to do. Who's Rotlick? Never heard of him? Hank Rotlick, famous portrait artist? Commissioned a portrait artist to paint your placards? Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. I'll go see Rotlick. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Starboard! Hey, there's a questicle in here. No. What do you have on offer? Redanian dumplings, speciality of the house, heartily recommended. Blimey. A vat gun in my establishment? It can't be. How do you know I'm a witcher? You joking? Silver blades. Who else uses them? Crafted in Mahakam, am I right? Must be about 40 inches long? 40 and a half. Still impressed. You're something of an expert, evidently. I'm Ibir Hattori. Former master swordsmith. Currently, a master of dumplings. Geralt of Rivia. A pleasure, Geralt. How might I help you? Care to try a dumpling? Yeah, man. Mmm. Tasty. Mm, glad to hear it. Anything else I can do for you? It's just the weirdest way to eat a dump. Looking for a good swordsmith. No one. <laughs> Three swords on your back. A bit much, don't you think? Good one. But all jests aside, you make swords anymore? 
really. It's dumplings now. I must make a living. But I miss the hammer, anvil, and bellows. Oh, the heat of the forge. Were it not for that swiving Van Horn. Don't know what you're talking about. Uh, I shan't greet a witcher with dumplings. Come, let me show you something. Quite a collection. Premium quality, too. Thank you. I've kept these as mementos. Damn shame you don't make them anymore. I'd gladly replace what I have with this kind of steel. Someone with your skills? Why the hell are you needing dough? This might surprise you. The pay is better. But above all, it's much safer. Food vendors rarely disappear or end up as cripples. I see. Someone controlling Novigrad smithing market? Not officially, though... All supplies go through Ernst Van Horn. And they say he plays cards with Cleaver. Frequently. Ernst Van Horn. Who's that? Modest beginnings. A small dockside workshop. However, he proved extremely ambitious. He knew he could not compete with other sword makers on skill alone, so he resorted to other methods. Other methods? A bit of slander here. Buying business debt cheaply and taking over there. And whenever the competition was a plowing non-human, he'd accuse them of being Havocars. Is that how he did you in? I did not give up without a fight. I went to Town Hall, negotiated. Alas, it was all in vain. He'd already enlisted Cleaver's protection. And in Novigrad, few dare get in Cleaver's way. Tried negotiating? Making a deal? With Van Horn? Do you jest? He's a proper heartless bastard. Either play by his rules and pay him, or go out of business. Hmm, I see. But I shan't complain. Dumplings have proven an excellent source of income. It's just... Well, uh... You miss the heat of the forge. Tried getting supplies from someone else? Those rogues of the underworld control all the sources. How am I to talk to them? Unless... Would you be willing to help me? Want me to help you get your supplies? How? Just come with me to a meeting. As my bodyguard, it'll bolster my confidence. Truth be told, not so long ago, I tried negotiating some iron deliveries with one of the King of Beggars' men. Right. King wouldn't worry about an embargo Cleaver imposed. It's just... He demanded an inordinately large share of the profits. I thought you might help me negotiate. I don't mean gratis. I'm certain we can agree on a fee. Could I... choose something from your collection? Oh, forget this rubbish. I shall forge you a sword fit for killing gods. I don't know. Criminal underworld. Not really sure I want to meddle with them. I badly need your help. Van Horn is a Van Horsen. He must be taught a lesson. I'd be eternally grateful. Plate armor, yours. Or perhaps you'd like a catapult or a, a trebuchet. <sighs> trebuchet, Fine. of course. Arrange the meeting. Splendid. Meet me after dark, near the crane at the docks. the place. Greetings, Witcher. It's nearby. Ready? Lead the way. Splendid. Come. The 
king of beggars, man. His name is Tinboy. What do you know about him? Not much. He's easy to hire, so tread carefully. We need him far more than he needs us. You were to come alone, Elf. Who's this? A concerned friend. Ah. Fine. Here's how we see things. The boss at Loggerheads with Cleaver, there's got to be a payoff. We've got an offer, and it's non-negotiable. Surprise us. A steady supply of iron in exchange for 50% of your profits. Give you 25. Who are you to dictate anything to the King of Beggars? Ugh, 35's as low as we'll go. Hmm. 25's our limit. We'll throw in a discount at the shop. <laughs> You're clearly daft, Tramp. No deal. Come on, boys. Fine. No deal. Geralt, what are you... Wait! All right. Certainly know how to negotiate, concerned friend. Oh, 25 it is, and the discount. <laughs> Agreed. You called a bluff. doing business with you. Oh, tin boy. Too much drink. It softened your bloody mind. This here's Cleaver's territory, you prick Whittler. Oh shit. shit. Who's this now? Cleaver's boys. News travels fast. What the fuck? Why is there one behind me? Man, he didn't care at all. There could be more in there. Follow me. Right. Sure hope there's a payoff at the end of this. So, supplies. That's something we can count on? Who'd you take me for? Gave you me word, didn't I? But I'd hire guards if I was you. You never know with Cleaver. Can you provide protection? A few of Cleaver's little shits escaped. Bugger probably already knows everything. I've no men to spare, can't guarantee your safety. 
If I was you, I'd lay low for a time. Thanks, Tin Boy. Down the line, the bosses will make a deal. You'll be left alone. All you gotta do is stay alive till then. <laughs> what now? Here we chat while your partner's just flown the coop. Hey, <laughs> hey, wait. He's running. <laughs> Good luck. Catch him. Hattori, wait. He's so fast. Hey there, handsome. Twenty crowns, what? Hattori. Hattori, you in there? Open up. No chance. Leave me be. Don't be silly. Let me in. No, never. I shall stay in here until Middenvern. Forgive me, Geralt. That was a mistake. To parley with bandits, make deals. Too late now. King of Beggars will get you supplies, and then what? You'll have to pay him. What have I done? Geralt, you must help me. No, I won't. I'm a witcher, not a bodyguard. Precisely. You must find me a bodyguard. Geralt, I beg you, they'll kill me. Got anyone specific in mind? There's a mercenary, Sucrus, often drinks at the Sturgeon. He's an old pirate, a Skelliger. He used to work for me. Huge as an oak, wouldn't fear a dozen cleavers. Can't you talk to him yourself? We parted... not on the best of terms. That is to say, he demanded a bonus and I... Didn't pay him. Great. What now? Am I supposed to pay your dues? I'm certain you'll find some way to agree. Geralt, please don't leave me this way. Come on now. All this for a master crafted sword that can kill gods. Hard times we live in. Uh... What the fuck are you doing? We weren't done conversing. Call that a conversation? Not your plain business. You need a smack, is that it? Oh, come on now. Come on, come closer. for it. I'm Geralt. Sucrus. You did well, mate. An ale to patch things. Come, we'll talk inside. What brings you here, Geralt? You and the merchant, what was that about? Uh, why my sis wedded that plow and rotter is beyond me. That was your brother-in-law? Prick-in-law, more like. Sweet taught me at first. Skellige me, we need barrels, we'll be rich men. So, I brought it in. Then he starts going on about unforeseen storage costs, net gross balances, and I don't know what else. Business and family just don't mix. Exactly, mate. Looking for a bodyguard. Interested? 
Why not? If there's coin in it. Well, there isn't. Not yet. So we're to barter. Favor for a favor, aren't we? I'm gonna kill you, Hattori. Yeah, I guess. What did you have in mind? <laughs> Mother in law owes me some coin. Get it back and we'll talk. <sighs> Damn it. I'll do it. Where'll I find him? Nearby at the docks. You know what? I don't care for his coin all in all. If you don't get it back, I won't mind. So what do you want me to do? Smash his stock of mead. Was me brought it in from Aunt Skellig. That a mature thing to do? Nay. But it's fair. I'll get the money. Be easy enough. Uh, one drink all I had. Rum and supper I never refuse. Look. Some basement? Changeling rescued or the witch's trial. Your performance was magnificent. Quite the smile. Like a boy. Come on. Let's go, bitches. Keep your chicken sandwiches. My machine has a nice still time. It hasn't been enough. Greetings. I'm Mr. Sucrus's collector. Come to get. Mr. Sucrus, the man's a boar. I do not deal with illiterate peasants. Tell him I'll pay just as soon as palm trees sprout on Skellige. Palm trees grow on Skellige. Palm trees have sprouted on Skellige. Now pay up. It can't be. Of course I shall pay Sucrus. A letter of credit acceptable? Redeemable at the Vivaldi's bank? Yes. I'm on my way. <laughs> Good eye mind trick. Oh. Took care of it. Trader said he'd give you a letter of credit issued by the Vivaldi's bank. Is that so? Well done, mate. So who am I to knock off? Just want you to keep an eye on someone. This swordsmith. Seems you know each other. I be your Hattori, the elf. Tried swindling me on axes once, the bastard. You working for him? You could say that. We're trying to dismantle the swordsmithing monopoly in Novigrad. Oh, noble cause. Well, you're vouching for him. Don't say why not. I'll grab some of the boys and we can go. That's easy enough. Robin's supper I never refuse. I've seen better. Your mother. Just stay like any other. So, what's it gonna be? Satori, see Sucrus already found you. You two agree to something? Yes, Geralt. 
I was forced to sell him a few axes at the wholesale price, but I was glad to do it. Thank you. Finally accepting orders for swords again? Sadly, no. I lack certain crafting supplies. Let me guess. Ernst van Horn's got a monopoly on them as well. Just so. He bought them cheap from sword makers abandoning the trade. Now he hoards them like a squirrel. But if you... No. You'd never agree. Agree to what? I happen to know where Van Horn keeps his hoard. It's more than he could possibly ever use. We could... borrow a little. What are you getting me into? Borrow? Don't you mean steal? Stealing from a thief's no crime. It isn't? So what is it? Poetic justice? How did I get sucked into this? <laughs> Why? It's simple. The best swords you've ever seen. Armor, trebuchet, catapults. All right, all right. Assuming I agree, how do you see this? Van Horn has his warehouse at the docks. The materials I need are very heavy. You must ask Sucrus to take his boys. Uh, one more thing. The crates I need will smell of ammonia. A cat piss. I'm trying to do a little meditation here. Didn't get anything, did I? That's why the sword looked like garbage. I was using a blunt sword the whole time. <laughs> so bad. It's like, why does my sword look bad? Oh, it must be good since I'm the one who freaking. Greetings. Oh, Garrett. How are things? Hattori's got a job for us. Great. I well, he was starting to get bored. Wants us to borrow a few crates from Ernst Van Horn's warehouse. They'll smell of ammonia. Mmm. Sounds doable. I know where Van Horn stores his goods. The boys and I will go there. Look around. Meet us near the sturgeon. Look around. Fine. When? After dark, of course. See you there. Leave poor old Hattori here totally defenseless. Sounds like a plan. here on my knees for like nine hours Thank you all right we know all we need to know just one guard at the entrance I'll take care of him thought you might me nose ain't all that sensitive I'll not find the right crates so you gotta mark him with chalk We'll get a cart in the meantime. Fine. What do I do when I'm done? Just leave the warehouse. Then we'll go in. Parkour! Something unusual. What the hell? It's you! I know you! Mr. Dwarf, this is the thieving swindler I told you about. Are you following me, you scoundrel? Ah, plowing nonsense. I knows him. It's Witcher Geralt. How goes it, Master Witcher? A Witcher? Well, it all makes sense now. Mr. Dwarf, do not listen to him. The bastard will curse us! You trade heads with Troll. A friend of Yap and Zigrin's a friend of mine. Now sod off for I lose my temper. Now! Abracadabra, hocus pocus. <laughs> How goes it, Master Witcher? Anything specific you're looking for in Van Horn's warehouse?
Ought to let me in. What I'm looking for is none of your business. Ought to just let me through. Way's all clear. Ain't spending any money. Come on, man. Where are those crafting supplies? Must be it. Not this one. No stench. Why would it smell like ammonia? I don't get that. What do you need ammonia for when you're forging blades? Maybe I'm just too dumb to understand Does that. Does stink of ammonia. That'd be it. Gotta signal them now. Shit! Have you any idea whose warehouse this is, goat fucker? Oi, Geralt. It's a bloke Atari told us about. The bugger who sleeps with Cleaver or something. Sucrus? Why are you here? With the sorcerer? Ah, oh, now I see. That is one hell of a jest you pulled. Hattori sent you? That ploughy non hue will be sorry his mother didn't strangle him with his navel string. But first, we'll feed you to the crabs. Hands off my brother-in-law, swine. Only I can thrash him. Understood? Brother, let's mop the floor with these ploughing Nordlings. Join us, Geralt. Adam. Hell yeah, dude. Give him here, Sucris. Twirsack! Whatever that means, yeah. I am a warlock. Come here! Set him on fire! Uh. We could conquer all Nilfgaard with this fighter! Sucrus, forgive me. I love you like a brother, you unkempt bugger! Friends? Of course, friends! What good has Becker ever brought us? Where's that Draco that hit me? Don't mean to spoil your reunion, but what'll we do with Van Horn? We'll take him to Skellige before he comes too. Won't be any more trouble to you. And maybe we'll try a new venture. But first we have to move these crates to Hattori's. True. I had to pay him a visit too. I mean, they're taking him to Skellige, he can just come back. I don't get that. Or is it a fat I met you, mate. Back there at Lockwood. People, help me! Let's Music. do it quick. Quicker. The fuck? Hey, Get it from hey. both sides! On it! What the fuck? Greetings, Ibeer. Geralt, you return safe and sound. I do. You doing all right? Never better. Once Van Horn had finally left, Cleaver lost interest in swordsmiths. I can forge swords again without fear of my workshop going up in flames. Glad to hear it. You've no notion how glad I am. Have no need of sucrus anymore and can devote myself to what I truly love. I thank you, Witcher. 
So now can you craft me something extraordinary? Naturally. It is what we agreed. Give me a few days, then come by for your new sword. A few days then, all right. Wait. At first... Well, your house is nice, but your beds are shit. Now you. What the heck? Sideways door. <laughs> about this is crazy. What? Why is it red? Three keys. What's he doing here? Look all pretty suspicious to me. Sir, help a woman 
in need. What's the problem? My house. Something haunts it. It howls, rattles chains, shatters plates. I fear merely being there. Will you see what sort of phantom this is? I'll spare no amount of gold. Sounds like a white or a puffbow. Fine, I'll tend to it. Thank you ever so much. Come with me. I will show you the way. Puffbow. <laughs> it's a puffbow. Ah, youth these days. Air brained all the ground before I lose my patience. Only a witcher. Don't enjoy being tricked. Tricked? I only said my house was haunted. I could not know it was hunters. Mm hmm. Except the hunters knew exactly who they were waiting for. Reeks of a trap to me. Very well. Perhaps I've not been completely candid. Especially as I've no gold for the reward either. Which does not mean you shall walk away empty handed. Here, a key to a treasure. There are three in all. Follow the hunters to find the other two. I must flee now. I have the other two. Okay. It's some monies. Devil's spawn. What's he doing here? Always a freaking job, man. Winds howling. Is nuts. Like, look at that. Entire house is being held up by just beams of wood. What? Hello? Come on. That's not okay. Whatever. How is that supposed to work? I need placards. Can Trying to attack me, you? huh? Of I don't. Till next time. Whatever. Oh, I know what that quest is. Hold on. I'll wait. That. He'll tell you to go to Skellige and do something. Oh.
Looking for Rodlick. You ain't alone. Damn halfling's in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. There's not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding time's first come, first served. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. You regret this, mutant. Oh, I can't blast him. <laughs> I would. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. Man, I'm running back and forth constantly. <laughs> Bandits! Bandidos! Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. Oh, yes. But tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. Deluverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. We've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to Deluverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. It's only 200 frickin' gold? Are you, are you fucking kidding me? 200 gold? Ah, Jesus. Just get it over with. Let me pay off your debt. No strings attached. Thank you. I, I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe this generosity? Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary in time. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. 200 gold to be in ah. debt for all time is ridiculous. A new rider pulls into the lead. Ridiculous.
Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. No, no, not all. But I'd imagine something more, you know, more theatrical. And shut up. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Thyme wasn't all bad. But it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We haven't. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Premier will have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to knit back home for my dress. Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... she say anything about me? <laughs> she said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. What? That you're responsible, got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't... Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time to So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. <laughs> Master Dandelion! Priscilla! She's... What? Speak, man! She's badly, uh, been attacked! They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital! Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. Oh, shit! Got about this. Oh man. Gods. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? R relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Gratz, head of surgery. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding inside the throat and esophagus. Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. Dang. So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? I've seen wounds like this. They're not the kind one would forget, don't you agree? 
In fact, just this week, a corpse turned up in the morgue with similar injuries. And no heart. No heart? You mean that might have happened to Priscilla? Is someone looking into this? This is Novigrad. Only the innocent burn here. Geralt, I know I owe you a hundred times over, but I need to ask you another favor. Find the bastard who did this. Find him. And kill him. Don't need any convincing. Come on, Dandelion. Let's think about what we can do. I... I would suggest examining the previous victim's corpse. It has yet to be autopsied. Doing so could very well provide some clues. No need to look astonished, gentlemen. As a surgeon, I know the importance of preventive medicine. Rather than wait for this maniac to strike again, I'd prefer to excise him. Not unlike a tumor. Great analogy, but this tumor is not gonna sit there, wait to be excised. Appreciate the help, but I doubt you know what you're getting yourself into. I know perfectly well, and I assure you I can take care of myself. Easy assurance to make, harder to back up, especially if you've spent your whole life wielding a scalpel, not a sword. Look at this scar. Don't be shy. Any idea what leaves such a mark? A flail. Morning star, maybe. What do you think? A blow sustained at the operating table? No. Let me repeat, I know what I'm doing, and I wish to help. Think they'll let me into the morgue? By the main entrance, certainly not. But you can also get inside through the sewers. The sewers? Travel them often, Doctor? As often as required for, uh, the pursuit of preventive medicine. Alternative treatments. Aggressive ones, I'm guessing. Interesting. We can discuss this en route. Are you ready? Mm hmm Ready and intrigued. I'll get whoever did this, Dandelion. Even if it's Hierarch Hemelfart himself. Thanks. Just when you think the game is going Please. splendidly. Huh. Throw a rock into the pond, you know? Disturb the so, surface. Preventive medicine you practice in the sewers. What's that about? Thick. Sewing up dry. Hear that? Been hearing it for a while. Draw your weapon. Trying to throw mud. Priscilla, how's it look? Give it to me straight, no sugar coating. Her wounds will heal, but it's her voice that concerns me. Surely you understand what a terrible blow that would be to a Trobritz. Enough to strip her of the will to live. Any remedy for that? I fear only your friend Dandelion can be of help on that count. Take the ladder. This is the place. Come, the quicker we take care of this, the better. Why? Got somewhere to be? Someone might disturb us. The coroner, for example. Or Reverend Nathaniel Pastodi. Very well. We seek the corpse of a dwarven woodcarver. Here he is. Calluses on the fingers, sawdust in the beard, clothes sticky with sap. Must be our dwarf. Excellent. 
I trust you don't grow weak in the knees at the sight of blood? Not a bit. Start the autopsy. Where? What the fuck? Ah! Teleports. Start with the genitals. His genitals. We ought to inspect those. I sincerely doubt they bear any relation to the matter. We'll see. Pull down his trousers and... Shit. Uh, syphilis, actually. Early stages. No sign of diffusion. Think there could be a connection? Only as the killer's potential motivation. <laughs> see anything interesting on his legs? His right foot. The ankle swollen. Toenails broken. He clearly kicked something very hard. Right before he kicked the bucket. Doesn't strike me as the right time for jokes. Yeah, apologies. We surgeons... We've a different sensibility. Mm -hmm. And a different sense of humor. Look at his hands. These welts. Rope burns, right? He was tied up. I'd expect so. No one could sit through such torture unless bound. Speaking from experience? Yes, that of a victim. Spent a year in the dungeons of Tretagore. Long story. Some other time, maybe. See the callus? Our dwarf wore a ring, but someone took it off him. Let's examine his torso. What have we here? Deep wound on the left side of his rib cage, and a scar the length of his stomach. Let's examine the chest wound. Yeah, heart carved out, wound cauterized. Wait a minute, there's something else. Sounds, dude. Ugh. Ugh. An egg from an amphibian. A salamander? Scorched but intact. I attended some lectures in herpetology as a student. Afraid I don't recall any amphibians that would lay eggs in corpses. So either Professor Cochrane was deeply mistaken, or this is our murderer's doing. Look at the scar. Wounds long and thin. An incision. But the edges are ragged. Means nothing. Look, no swelling, no bruises. An old injury, perhaps uh, an accident in the workplace. Open the abdominal cavity. A due warning, it will stink of rot. Once fought a zoogle up to my waist in sewage, so I doubt... Wait. Smells not rot. Formaldehyde. A medical novelty. Heavily diluted, it's remarkable at preserving organic tissue. In stronger proportions, it's more destructive than acid. Explains why there's no smell of decay. And why his throat scalded. Let's look at his head. Hair smells like it's burnt. Like he was in a fire. Notice anything else? That his eyes have been scooped out, for instance? Those burn marks I see in his eye sockets. Yes. And some grey dust. Ash, it seems. Very fine. Murderer gouged out his eyes, then put burning coals in the sockets. So it seems. Looking at the wounds, it appears our woodcarver was still alive when it happened. Let's examine the mouth. Burns. Blisters. Just like Priscilla's. See this? Incision made into the voice box. Indeed. So thin as to be nearly unnoticeable. A small, extremely sharp instrument. Scalpel. Yeah, but why? The wound is too small to bleed, and there are signs of swelling. The murderer... I believe he performed a tracheotomy, so the victim wouldn't die too soon. All right. Think I know enough. Enlighten me, please, because I've still no notion what this is about. What the motive might have been. 
punishment? Sure of one thing. This was punishment. Even the witch hunters don't engage in this kind of torture. What sin could possibly merit it? Only the murderer knows that. And it's the key to finding him. Or her. It's a lead worth following. Any idea what his name was? Fabian Meyer. And I'm Hubert Reich, the coroner. I've come to perform the autopsy, but I see you've done it for me, Joachim. And as always, you interfere where you're neither needed nor wanted, drag others into trouble in the process. Who is this? A student. Lifelong learner. Got a couple questions for you. Very well, speak. But be quick. Reverend Nathaniel has come by for an inspection. He'll be here shortly. Woodcarver's body. Where was it found? It's important. Plan to investigate? Exciting. He died in his workshop south of the Market Square, just beside the gate to Far Corners. That poor Trebirates was attacked there. City's a buzz about it. But the woodcarver, Eustace the corpse collector, brought us the body. You should speak to him. Saw him just around the corner, near... Oh, greetings, your reverence. Who are these people? I believe I made it clear no one's to be allowed in, under any circumstances. You did, but they're friends of the deceased, here to collect the body. Out of the question. Show them out at once. As your reverence wishes. Gentlemen, follow me. You shall leave via another route. Why do you cover for us? I was covering my own ass. If Reverend Nathaniel had learned someone had entered the morgue, then cut open a corpse without his permission, I'd be in deep trouble. But you didn't give that a thought, did you, Joachim? As ever. Well, while I don't approve of your willfulness, I also wish to see this murderer hang. So, should I learn anything new related to this case? I will let you know. Hmm. Thank you. Nathaniel, who is he? A scoundrel, a rogue, like every man who wears the robes of the Eternal Fire. Most are scoundrels before they ever put on the robes. True in his case as well. Before he donned the frock, Nathaniel was a torturer, delighted especially in torturing women. Later, Hierarch Hemelfart appointed him to oversee the morgue. He deals with the Temple Guard, supervises cremations, conducts funeral masses in the Temple on the Isle, and so forth. Hmm. Dream job. Might have told me you know the coroner. We could have skipped the trip through the sewers. I know him, thus I avoid him. I've said enough on the subject. I decide when we're done with this subject. What's your connection to him? An old story. But if you insist... The student protests in 1242, you've heard of them? I led them. Hubert, however, denounced me to the authorities. I landed in prison. There you have it. What will you do now? Plenty of leads. Woodcarver's workshop, the corpse collector who found him, alley where Priscilla was attacked. Got work to do. As do I. At the hospital. I must return there. But I shall keep my fingers crossed. And I'll keep my eye on you. We got work to do, chat. Are you a wizard? Hell yeah. Oi, Cocker! Gods, oh, what it happened up. here? Monsters must Just have run down. Bloody bandits! We can't go out in the street! <laughs> you, Eustace, the corpse collector? I? How'd you know? <laughs> Fourth sense, I think it is. You bring Fabian Meyer's body to the morgue. Fabian. Oh, yeah, I remember. <laughs> no ice, no art. One of them, right? No purse neither, as I recall. One of them? So there have been other bodies like that? <laughs> sure have. Beggars, street urchins, and street walkers. <laughs> one was so portly, I had to cut her into pieces to fit her in me wheelbarrow. Slippery sow, they called her, on account of the... Uh, huh. Some things are best left unsaid. What happened to the pieces? 
What do you mean? Reverend Nathaniel ordered them burned. Every last one. Oh, shame that was. Shame? Why? Actually, never mind. Another thing that's best left unsaid. <laughs> that's gross. You search Fabian's body? Whoa. I uh, cast an eye in his pockets. <laughs> Made sure nothing went to waste. I call a spade a spade. You rob corpses. And I call a prick a prick. It's none of your fucking concern. What, you tax collector? Peace off, mutant. God damn. Tell me. Talk. What did you find on him? I, uh, as you wish. Triflings, baubles, glass beaded wing, handful of coins, and a letter. Look, vellum. Quality parchment, that. <laughs> I'll wipe off the right inner cell it is new. That's human skin. Priscilla. Next victim's name. If you'd given this to the right person, she might not have been hurt. <laughs> what the fuck do I care what happens to some Priscilla? We short of wenches in this town. Punch! Boy, fucking hell! What was that for? For everything. Those shoes, man. What are those? What are those? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get a snack, actually. Even hungry. Oop. All right, no, I'll be right back. Get some food. Uh, nothing hurts as much as life. <laughs> you see in the dark, and you're sturdy. Make a fine road sniffer if you weren't so tall. Ah! Help! Save me! I'm dying of poverty. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> Save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Did you finish the work on time? Of course. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. Save me. 
I'm dying of poverty. Ooh. City somehow. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> Save me. I'm dying of poverty. Let's go kill some monsters. Help, save me. I'm dying. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. Eternal fire walk with you. Not gonna watch me eat. So I'm gonna turn the camera off, okay? Sorry about that. Help, save me. I'm dying of poverty. <laughs> oh boy. Poverty. That pig, though. Elvin blood. I was faffing a bit. Anyone home? Be gone, or I'll sick me hands on you. Molly, Striga, come! Relax. I'm here about Fabian Meyer, looking for his killer. That's altogether different. Sit, you stupid much. Lay down. Come on. Come on, then. Slowly now, lest they bite you. Charming as beasts go. You daft. Even I'm scared of them. A better barking dog than an evil man at your door. Got someone particular in mind? Sure as shite. Bugger who did Fabian in. As soon as they'd hauled his corpse off, I run to a meat or is his fighting dogs. Bought these two mutts. Cost me a chunk of change. But I sleep sound at least. So who might you be? The Steph's brother. Gus is the name. We ran a workshop together. Meyer and Meyer. Hmm. What'll it be now? Just Meyer? Name it. I'll be closing it down now. As soon as I find a bear for this shack, I'll head on to Mahakam. Be near my family or what's left of it. So, what do you want to know? What can I tell you about Fabian? Tell me what you know about the murder, in order, in detail. It was like this. I had some work in Oxenfurt, and I was coming home. I saw a plume of smoke rising over the city. Thought to myself, Blast it, gonna miss him burn another hag. But the smoke wasn't coming from Hyrax Square. It was coming from here. See the soot stains? That's where they burned our sculptures. Folk gathered round the blaze and found Fabian here beside it. They'd already loaded him on the cart by the time I arrived. Talk to your neighbors. 
They see anything suspicious beforehand? Hear anything? Claim not to. But even if they had, they'd not have helped. You know they could have folk give bleeding orphans in the street a wife best so as not to stain their poor lanes. They care about some dwarf. Your brother have any enemies? Anyone dislike him? Threaten him, maybe? It was Fabian who threatened this one last. Oh, you were a good dwarf. Craftsman like no other. But you were an incorrigible whoremonger as well. Whenever we put a bit of coin aside, I'd say, let's buy some tools, quality timber. No, he grabbed the purse and head out whoring. Took to following one in particular. He'd say, it's all your fault, dirty bitch, human dish rag. And other obscenities. Don't rightly know what that was about. Maybe he was in love with her. Know where I can find her, this dish rag? City Cemetery. She died a few days back, quietly in her sleep. Her pawn said a fever took her. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Bloodstains. That's where Fabian lay when they found him. Statues of the old gods. Nothing but women. Shapely ones. Griffin school year, though. Makes you look fat. I have a key. Hello? Hi. Had a look at your sculptures. What? Lifelike, aren't they? Mm hmm The women especially. Never seen a bust that size on Melitoli. Oh, aye. Fabian's handiwork. I told him, brother, tits like that would crush her back. Whittle them down. He said, nay, they'd sell better this way. Told me to shut me trap. And sell they did. Till one sermon at the temple, when the celebrating reverend said that whoso buys idols from the non-human Myers sins twofold as a heretic and as a lecher. That was the end of that. Uh, 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 uh. Fine, we've talked enough. Need to look around. Be my guest. Just beware of the dogs. Ian, where? I go in. Oh. Hmm. Someone dragged something across the floor. Or dragged it from one wall to the other, repeatedly. Mind if I go inside the workshop? I've not even peeked inside since... since they found Fabian. But I'll open it for you if you want. stains behind furniture got knocked over this looks like it was kicked formaldehyde doubt Fabian used it wants to see you been another victim told me to say the main door will be open for you you're to come as soon as you can hey handsome I know that smell formaldehyde a brazier this time of year man's footprint the murderers maybe Weighed on his heel. Took a step back. Human. 
Priscilla's. Sis, that him. How am I to know? Watch him, see what he does. No fight. Mistake. This is okay. Some fighting music. <laughs> Turn to the scene of their crime. Me and my brothers are waiting here to give him a warm welcome for Priscilla. Almost did her in the whole sun. I know. Here to look for clues and find anyone who might know something. Fear I can't help you much, but I can tell you what I know. Oh, that's a 180. <laughs> you and Priscilla friends? Friends? Nah. But she saw more than a stupid whore in me. Treated me with respect. It mattered. I was looking to give up pouring, pick up a decent trade, but none would take me. Not as a washerwoman, nor a servant, nor a cook. Felt like a leper, I did. But Priscilla, she was different. Agreed to put me in her play, you see. Lots of the other actors, they were afraid on account of her jesting about the eternal fire. Whistling Wendy on stage, can you imagine it? Well, dream's gone now. I'm back to work in street corners. Sorry to hear that. You could do worse as work goes. Or so I tell myself. Priscilla wasn't the sole victim. You aware of that? Oh, dearie. Of course I was. This didn't start yesterday. Others have died like this before. Beggars, street girls, orphans. But who'd have a drama concern about them? Human rubbish. It's what the guards call us. Recall any names? They didn't have proper ones. Baldy, curly, buns. That's what folk called them. No friends, no families. Their bodies were burned long ago. Take care now. And I got a murderer to catch. Oh, my head's ringing. Got a problem. Murderer fled before the guards arrived. Ran this way. Trail ends here. Strange. Even I couldn't jump this wall. Couldn't jump this wall, huh? Oh, there's a hint right there. Watch it, Tram. No it's not human. Not human. You see in the dark and your study. Greetings. I can find wood sniffer if you will. Hey, to leave this city somehow. Slap a new right teach you're a bigger rat bigger than me. Oh, all right. You know how to disembowel. Welcome, Master Witcher. This guy. Geralt, right? I'm glad you're here. Held off on the autopsy till you arrived. Nice of you. Especially given you didn't seem pleased about my previous visit. Because you came unannounced and in unfortunate company. I also had Reverend Nathaniel to contend with. Our spiritual caretaker has left the city on some important matter. And I know who you are, what drives you. I'm more than happy to aid your investigation. Von Grads told me all about you. Ah. Doubtless you've heard how I had the noble leader of the student protesters thrown in prison. 
But did you hear the protests were far from peaceful? Or did he neglect to mention it? People were dying, Witcher. Those who rejected liberty, equality, and fraternity would be found in the gutter come morning. Their throats slit from ear to ear with surgical precision. Joachim had been my favorite student, but... Alas, I had to do something. So I reported him. Then I left the university and found work in the morgue, where none care about my past. Whereas Joachim... Oh, fate's ironies. Years later, he was appointed head of the very ward I had founded. How old's Von Gratz? Fifty? Sixty? Fifty-three, I believe. Why do you ask? You look a little young to have been his teacher. Not surprising. For years, I've lived in the cold and dark, breathing the vapors of embalming fluids. In short, working with corpses extends one's life. Amusing, is it not? He's not human. It's so plain to see. This guy. Vampire. No doubt about it. Who's the victim this time? Joris Aquinas, a lecturer in theology at Oxenfurt Academy. Found this morning at his home on a catafalque made of his books. Any titles in particular? It seems all the tomes dealt with the eternal fire. Treaties critical of the faith's doctrines. Yeah, mortal sin in Novigrad. Not fond of Nathaniel? Very few people are. He's cruel and capricious. He stormed in here once, grabbed a scalpel I was sterilizing over a burner, sliced my back with it to the bone, because I had forgotten to lock the storeroom. Hard to be fond of someone like that, wouldn't you agree? Let's start. Gladly. The wounds conform to the killer's modus operandi. The victim was bound and forced to drink formaldehyde. Next, the killer removed the eyes, placed burning coals in the sockets, then opened the rib cage and... What's this? A parchment made of human skin. A message from the murderer, the name of his next victim. Patricia Vagelbud. Do you know her? Yes. Even went to her estate once with... Gotta find her, now. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Till next time, master. Woo! <laughs> Shit. I, I get so distracted so easily. I see the breadcrumb trail on the minimap and I'm just like, follow it. Go. It's the way. Trust me. Need to talk to Patricia Vagelbud. You think any bum off the street can... Her life's in danger. Let me in or have her blood on your hands. If you thought this up, and I'll let you in, I'll throw my ass out the door. Always thought a guard was supposed to protect his charge, not his ass. So be it. I'll take you to Lady Vagelbud. Just no trickery. Understand? Geralt, what a pleasant surprise. Not pleasant at all. I gotta see your mother. Her life's in danger. In danger? Come now. I saw mother this morning. She seemed sad, true, but in perfect health. I'm hunting a serial killer. 
And I've got reason to believe your mother will be his next victim. Why, even if it's true, our guards... He's exceptionally cruel when he kills, tortures his victims, cuts out their hearts. So let's see how she is, just in case. I find this all very hard to believe, but you appear to be quite serious. Please, follow me. A fire fit for Bellatane, except it's the wrong time of year. I mentioned the mother seems sad. Do you remember? In fact, she's in the midst of a crisis of faith. Come on! A rather serious one. We'd been to Novigrad. Mother had seen the pyres in High Rock Square, but had not a word on her way home. She had all the holy books in Sydney's reliquaries gathered, taken outside and burnt. Then she locked herself in her room. We need to hurry. Hear that? Calm and quiet. All seems to be in order. We should go in, just to be sure. You're relentless, aren't you? Fine. But wait here, please. Mother's certainly not in the mood for guests. Dogs. Spread out, murder is still here. Where is he? Time to end this. Hello. Why are you attacking me? Stop. Jesus. Halt! Uh, uh. I put a bolt between your eyes. Listen, you got the wrong guy. Save your trickery, taking you to the heiress. <sighs> well, killer's already escaped. Lead the way, hero. We got him, Lady Ingrid. It wasn't easy, but... Lower that crossbow before you hurt yourself. This man is innocent. Forgive me. I saw him running. Thought it was the killer fleeing. I was chasing him, and I'd have caught him if you hadn't gotten in my way. Out of my sight, at once! Mother, why did he do this to her? Why? Because she blasphemed the eternal fire, only thing that ties her to the other victims. Ingrid, I know this is a hard time for you, but usually the killer leaves a note on the body, a note indicating his next victim. May I? Very well. But you should be on your own. I do not wish to see her in this state. I do not wish to remember her like that. And. Let her be the last victim, please. Harsh, man. Wish there was a way to actually stop that. Bruises, man. broken fingernails. She defended herself. Must be why it took him longer, and why he almost got caught. Here it is. Sweet Nettie, crippled Kate's. Growing bolder. Not just the name, but the place, too. Won't get away this time. Did I just pick up? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> ah! Parkour, parkour.
Or get in there. Sweet Nettie, where is she? Upstairs. But she's with a very important client. Do not disturb them. The wrong client. This lie. No discounts. No discounts. Oh shit. No one will hear you, bitch. Not a soul. You though? Whole town will hear you in a minute. Yet again you disturb me. And I so dislike being disturbed. I was to play with sweet Nettie, render her not so sweet, but I shall see to you first. First, gotta tell me why you do it. For pleasure. Satisfaction. <laughs> Achievable with whores in a lot of ways, many traditional. Doesn't take killing them, trust me. Who said anything about killing? I could stop at a few burns. Third degree, but still. Mm, this rosy skin will roast quite well. Spare me your lies. I've seen your victims. I know how they end. You don't stop. Not unless someone gets in your way. Like I'm doing now. What the fuck are you on about? Murder. You killed Fabian Meyer, Patricia Vagelbud, and many others. <coughs> Bollocks. You're mistaken, vagrant. Found a message on Patricia's body. Led me here to crippled Kate's. To sweet Nettie. If you didn't leave it, who did? I don't know. But I see we must talk. Calmly. Who knew you'd be here? Strangely enough, I don't announce these outings far and wide. There's but one man who... That, that's impossible. He treats even corpses with kid gloves. The coroner said you were busy. That you wouldn't visit the morgue. Gotta go after him. Go. But to Warehouse 12 at the docks. He's there this time of day, procuring supplies. Formaldehyde. I shall stay here. I've unfinished business with Sweet Nettie. After all, I paid in advance. Uh, nope. Then you'll pay again. For her, for all the other women you've tortured. Time to die, freak! Uh, uh, punch him. <laughs> You're free now. He had to die, you know. Oh, thank you. Thank you. If not for you. He asked if I did everything, and I said, for the right price, of course. And then he smiled. Oh, God, it gave me the shivers. And then he hit me. So hard I passed out. I was bound when I came to. And he was hitting the poker in the fire. Calm down. He won't hurt you anymore. He won't hurt anyone. Come on, Matt. Pretty sure there's no consequences for that, right? He's not that important. My wife won't believe me when now I'm to the real killer, though. Freaking vampire man. Get out of the way! So much semen. Is that the concerned letter? Yeah.
run out of formaldehyde. I underestimated you. You almost caught me in flagrante delicto. Now you've seen through my bluff with Nathaniel. Although, you've not divined all, I see. Had you, you would have drawn your silver sword. Who, what are you? A vampire? Higher, of course. Got a reason for killing? A reason to torture? Hmm. I thought you'd figure that out as well. The symbolism's rather obvious. Coals for those who are blind to the fire. The egg of a salamander born of fire to replace their cold, doubting hearts. Fire down the throat that... Yeah, symbolism's clear. What's not is why a vampire would kill in the name of the eternal fire. Should be equally obvious. I concur with the church's diagnosis. Novigrad is a fallen city. Its population amnesiacs to the very concepts of decency and morality. So I decided to remind them, in a manner they'd be certain to notice. You're a sick fuck. <laughs> I never expected you to understand. You're a cynic and an opportunist. I sensed it from the start. Ah well, this conversation has grown unpleasant for both parties. We must move to the next item on the agenda. I last fought a Witcher two centuries ago. I do hope I remember how it's done. And you? Have you faced one of us? No, you couldn't have. You would not have survived. Ooh boy. An actual vampire. You got me fucked up, man. I don't know if poison's gonna work on him, but you know, worth a try. I didn't even use black blood. Ridiculous. New weapon, though. It looks cool. But it is not better. Does look cool. Glad I did that one right. Rain again, damn mages. Help, 
Yes. Did you take care of what I asked? Yeah. The witch's way. Thank you, Geralt. For me and Priscilla. Did my part. Your turn now. Take care of her. Good care. I will. You'll see. Treat her better than the Dryads of Broccolon could. She's talking again. Nice surprise. Isn't it? Professor Von Gratz told me her wounds are healing faster than a troll's. Not the most flattering comparison, but encouraging. Maybe she might even sing again someday. For now, we'll try performing as a duo. She'll play the lute, I'll sing. Dandelion and Kalanetta. Got a nice ring to it, doesn't it? Sounds great. Good luck, Dandelion. On stage and off. Brother. Yes, Garrett? Found and killed the murderer. It was Hubert. You were right not to trust him. He was a higher vampire. I thought nothing could surprise me in Novigrad. Seems I was wrong. Deeply wrong. Thank you, Geralt. Were it not for you, this would never have ceased. Hubert told me about your past, even more vivid than I'd assumed. I have not time for riddles, Geralt. Be straight or be gone. Any truth to his claim that people died during the riots at the university, died for your cause? I was young and stupid. I thought a better future was worth any price, even a human life or two. But those are past sins. Sins I've atoned for. Why is the university in Oxenford closed? Because it suits Radovid. You've not heard the story? The rector wished to grant him an honorary doctorate. The faculty disagreed. Nonetheless, Radovid arrived for the ceremony, donned a gown, collected his diploma, and when it was over, imprisoned the deans and the entire academic senate so they wouldn't raise a stink. I've been at Vilmeria's hospital ever since. But perhaps it's for the best. I'm far more adept scalpel in hand than I ever was behind a lectern. Know another surgeon from Oxenford Academy. Her name's Shani. Know her? Red hair cropped short, freckles. And a hopeless idealist. Naturally, I know her. She was my assistant for a year. Any idea where she is now? My gut tells me she's somewhere along the front, patching up pikemen. I told her it would be futile. In the time she saved a hundred lives, another thousand would be lost. But medics with a mission, you can't argue with them. Farewell. Well, I think we did that beautifully. <sighs> With that, probably gonna call it. I was gonna try and get to Skellige today, but you know. There's always more things to do in The Witcher. Always more things to do. Next time, we'll start cleaning up those notice boards, get that master crafted sword. And, uh, who knows? But until then... <laughs>